People make decisions every day. Uh, for example, before you go outside, you kind of have an if statement that says, if it's raining, then I need to get my jacket. And computers are amazing once you decide those kinds of statements that they can reliably execute those things at unbelievable speed. And so a computer program really uh, is a little bit of math and some if statements uh, where the decision gets made. So in, in this puzzle, the if block helps the zombie make a decision. Right. It checks something. For example, let's use the block that says, if there's a path to the left, and put a turn left command inside it. So we're telling the zombie to check its surroundings, see if there's that path on the left, and if so, make that turn. And then we use the move forward block inside this repeat uh, to get it to keep moving forward as long as it just wants to go straight. Uh, then when there's the turn, the if block will tell it to make this turn to the left. And you can see if we do that, if we're taking the turns to the left and otherwise moving forward, we'll achieve our goal. So it's an example of using an if statement, which is really a, a fundamental concept in computer programming. Uh, one of the first things I learned was uh, uh, how to write a program to play tic-tac-toe. And you know, so I had if statements to say, OK, if the other person is about to win, go ahead and, and block that uh, spot. Uh, so have fun learning how to use if statements. It's a, a key concept. Understanding coding is a weapon. It's like a superpower. It's better than a superpower. Hi, I'm Carly. I work in fashion, but I also consider myself a student. I'm fascinated by understanding how things work. I wanted to learn how the world of technology is built. So I started to learn how to code in my spare time because it wasn't offered to me as a class when I was in school. I grew up in a house with three sisters and all four of us were never encouraged to learn how to code. And that's the one thing that I wish someone would have said, just take one class. I always thought I would be following my father's footsteps and go into medicine. My dad's a doctor and I love math. I ended up having a career in fashion. You know, there's not much math that I use in my day-to-day -day life for my work, but I am fascinated by, by computer sciences, by understanding programming, by understanding how things are built. I happen to be a closeted super nerd. So I personally have begun learning how to program on my own because programming is the language of the future and of now. I wish I would have started learning at 13, but it doesn't matter how old you are, you can always start learning. Jump into it, learn, just try and take one class. Give it one hour. It's amazing what you can learn in one hour. It's important to break that stigma of thinking that it's not cool to be smart. If you can understand, much less speak code, you can build anything. So much fun. I spend so much time like playing with the different games that are probably targeted to like 12 year olds. No, there's this funny story where, um, so I like going for walks around. I mean, it's, it's California, right? So it's, it's beautiful. And um, there's this one loop that, that I used to go on when, when I was at our last office where there, there were these few kids who they'd, they'd ride their bikes and, and every day when I'd, when I'd walk by this one, um, this one guy, he'd ask me, he'd just like yell questions at me like, hey, um, Mr. Zuckerberg, I'm like Mr. Zuckerberg, what? Um, I, will, I wanna learn how to program, what should, what should I do? Should I try to, um, like what, what system should I learn how to program? I'm like, well, what, what do you have? A Windows computer or, or a Mac or a phone or what do you want? He's like, well, I, I was like, I wanna build an iPhone app. I'm like, all right, great. So um, go, go download the, the developer kit for iPhone. So then, you know, I'd come back a couple days later and, and he just say, yeah, my loop. And he's like, okay, so I went to go download the developer kit and my mom says, 
um, you know, it's $99. Should I get it? And I'm like, yeah, tell your mom you should get it. So he's like, okay, I'll go do that. And then you know, a few days later, I'd come back and he's like, all right, I got the developer kit. And my mom says I, I, I can get it. Um, so now what's the, what's the first thing that I should get started doing? So I'm like, all right, well, first try to learn this. And then like, this would just go on for weeks. And I, I can't say I didn't teach him how to program, but, um, but it was really gratifying to know that um, in some small way, maybe I could help out um, teaching the next generation of folks who are going to become engineers. When I first got rolling, it was kind of easier back then in some ways and harder in other ways. Uh, the, the actual code was easier back then. At the same time today, you have much better resources. You have code.org, you have uh, search results for pretty much any tech question you would ever want to ask. You have school courses, you, you, you might even have teachers today uh, that know how to code, understand how the internet works and can teach you. That's a, a pretty incredible resource that I didn't have around me growing up. Probably the first website I ever built was just copying the HTML code from yahoo.com and just editing it until it was David's website. And you know, the more you do that, the more you actually start to learn the language yourself and you're able to start to build the stuff from scratch. Or putting your, putting your work out there early, even before it's perfect, even before you really have found your voice yet and know what you're trying to say, is a, an amazing feeling and an amazing learning experience and a chance to start to connect with people who will kind of take you the rest of the way there. But if you have any aspirations of putting your idea, putting your work out there into the world, start now.